Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from ex Question number 5. Again in this diagram we will have to find x. So this, is this a quadrilateral? No, because it has more than 4 sides. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it has got 5 sides and they are all of different length. Now let's see how do we calculate here. So here let us first try to calculate all the interior angles possible because three of the interior angles we, we know, two of them are anyways x. The remaining two, these two we have to calculate. So first let us name this figure. So let's call this A, this point as B, this is C, this is D and this is E. So let us try to calculate the value of the interior angle C, similarly the interior angle D. We will have to first calculate these two values. So the interior angle C will be equal to how much? Now this interior angle C plus the exterior angle C is equal to 180 degree that is straight line. So interior angle C would be equal to 180 degree minus 70 which is equal to 110 degree. Similarly the interior angle D would be equal to 180 degree minus 60 degrees that is this entire thing minus 60 which is equal to 120 degrees. So now let us look at this pentagon. So this is a pentagon. So what would be the sum of the angles, sum of interior angles in pentagon? So that would be equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees. And what is the value of n here? n is 5. So 5 minus 2 would be 3 into 180 degree, which is equal to 540 degrees. So therefore, we can say that all the internal angles we will add up. So one internal angle is angle C plus angle D which we have calculated here plus angle A which is 30 degree plus X which is angle B plus X which is angle E. This is equal to 540 degrees. So therefore, this 110 plus 120 plus 30, this comes out to be 260 degrees plus 2X is equal to 540 degrees or we can say 2x is equal to 540 minus 260 so this is 540 minus 260 so this comes out to be 280 degrees therefore x will be equal to 280 degree divided by 2 so this would be 140 degrees. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 140 degrees. Question number 6. Find x. Now here nothing is given. But do you still think that we will be able to find x? Yes. Because this symbol shows that the length of the sides are all equal. But that's also another thing which I would like to mention. So wherever in a diagram you find these kind of symbol. Let's say we have drawn um, any shape like this. If I say this way, that means this side is equal to this side. Similarly, if I do this way, that means this side is equal to this side. If I say this way, that means this side is equal to this side. So that's the significance of this symbol. So here it says that all the sides are equal. Now how many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 sides and all the 5 sides are equal. Now since all the 5 sides are equal, this is a regular polygon or a regular pentagon. Therefore all the angles will also be equal. So if one angle is x, that means all the other angles are also x. So basically here if you try to find out the sum of the interior angles, it would be x plus x plus x plus x plus x and which would be equal to what is the angle sum for a regular pentagon? This is going to be 540 degrees. Using the same formula n minus 2 into 180 degree where n is equal to 5. So you would get 540 degrees. So from here you get 5x is equal to 540 degrees or you can say x is equal to 540 divided by 5. So this is 108 degrees. So that's the value of x. Question number 7. Classify each of them on the basis of the following. Simple curve, simple closed curve, polygon, convex polygon, concave polygon. 
So let us see how many of these are simple curves. Now how do we define simple curves or what are simple curves? Those curves which do not cross themselves. So the curve should not cross itself. So first one, is it a simple curve? Yes, this is a simple curve. Is this a simple curve? Yes, this is again a simple curve. Is this a simple curve? This is not a simple curve because you know, you have here, you do not have just one curve, you have two curves. So there are two curves and therefore they are like, in a way they are crossing each other because when you look at the outer curve, that is kind of including the inner curve within it. So that means it is crossing over each other. So this is not a simple curve. Again, the fourth one is again not a simple curve because this is also crossing over itself. Fifth one, yes, it is a simple curve because it, it is not crossing over itself. Sixth is also a simple curve. Seven is also a simple curve. Eight again is not a simple curve because you see it crosses over itself at these points. Simple closed curve. Now here in some of the figures we have seen that some of them are open whereas some others are closed. So let's see which of these are closed. So again number one would be a simple closed curve. This is also a closed curve because it doesn't have any start point end point and it encloses a region within it. Now anyways three and four were not simple so there's no point seeing them. Point number five this is also a closed curve. Six is also a closed curve. Seven is also a closed curve. So all of these were simple closed curve. Polygon. Now polygon is made up of only line segments. So polygon is a simple closed curve. So out of all those which were simple closed curve, that is out of one, two, five, six, seven, which one is a polygon? Only the ones which are made up of only line segments. So the first one is made up of line segments. Second one is also made up of only line segments, just four segments. Fifth one is not made up of line segments. Sixth is also not made up of line segments. Seven is also not made up of line segments. Therefore, they are not polygons. So only one and two are polygon. Convex polygon. Now, obviously, out of these two only, some will be concave and some will be convex. So when it comes to convex polygon, convex polygons are always the bulging polygons where the inner angles are less than 180 degrees. So you see, this is a bulging polygon. It is like bulging outside, right? So point number two would be a convex polygon. Whereas when we talk about concave polygon, it should have a cave or it should have a depression like this. So the first one is a concave polygon because it has one angle which is greater than 180 degrees. So that's how we can classify looking at the images. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.